Hello. Happy Sunday. Who's ready to paint today? <clears throat> I'll wait for a couple of minutes till people come on. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you, Nancy? Hi. <clears throat> Gabby, Diane, Emily. I am. Um, I wish you were here to help film me. <clears throat> Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Mimi. <laughs> MX Smith is my daughter. She's not here. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Susan. Hi, Sam. Who's ready to paint? <clears throat> Hi, Kathy. Okay, so I was playing around with this, um, doing acrylics. It's something I really want to learn. It's not something I'm really good at, um, but I'm loving it. So I had done this the other day. Um, it's a little bit like um, Betty Krause, not as beautiful as her work, but I really enjoy her, and I've taken like one of her online classes and did that. And then I made this just playing around. So this is what we're gonna do, something like this today. So does everybody have your art supplies? Are you gonna do acrylics? Um, if you wanna paint along, you can. If you don't want to, it's fine. You can watch or do it some other time if you want. I'm, I'm gonna try to um, uh, save this and post it um, later. I'm in my, my same studio, but at a different angle. You'll see. Okay, let me turn this around. Sorry. So over here is where I usually sit. And this is the painting that I did this morning. My oil painting. Are you good? I'm good, honey. Are you going on the bike ride? Yeah, if you don't need my help. All right. No, there's Izzy. Say hi. Isabel and my husband are going for a bike ride. <clears throat> I know on Sundays that I can't do this at 1230 because fun things might happen. <laughs> so what I have here... So this, this was fun. It's, um, I practiced because I just wanted to make sure that it, it didn't, I didn't make a mess today with you guys all watching. Um, not that that couldn't happen. There's always that risk. Mm -hmm. So this is a piece of Bristol board, Bristol, you know, it's board, it's like paper and I coated it with gesso. So it has gesso on it, but I coat both sides so it doesn't warp very much. And yesterday when I did my little, these are all my acrylic paints. I actually ordered more acrylic paints, which is fun too. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. Not that I know a lot about acrylics, but you can ask me anything. Um, yesterday I did my under base layer, like drawing. I kind of drew on here and my idea, hi Kristen, was to kind of color it in and have it be like chunks of color, which is what I've been trying to do a little bit more with my my oil painting too, but um, so what I'm saying is yesterday when I did, I did my under drawing, you might have seen it in my story with pencil, but then when I was painting acrylics, the pencil smeared and I didn't like that look. So I don't know, water soluble graphite. So that would smear too. And I don't know what this, I got this. I have all these fun art supplies. I f was cleaning out my cupboards today and found so you know what I think I'm just gonna do it with a pen maybe this is this a brushish pen you see the other end of it I have so many art supplies I'm a lucky girl um it doesn't feel good to me hmm I'm just gonna use a pencil anyway and worry about that later because I feel like using a pencil um so I ordered some more I like this Nova color and I ordered more of these. I don't know if they're open right now because of the, the uh, quarantine. But I decided I pulled all these paints out. And, and literally, I have a whole lot more acrylic paint than I realized. Which is fun, right? So now I can't quite get this whole thing in my area. Judy says, in my area, people are putting hearts in their windows for their walking neighbors to see. I was thinking doing your hearts bigger and putting them in the windows. Ever sending the design to our friends even sending to our friends. Oh, I love that. So shall we do a floral heart today? We could put it in our windows. Someone else, do you guys um, follow Uppercase Magazine? A lady Janine from there, she's doing a really fun thing that I want to participate in. I have to remember to sign up. 
But what you do is you make little calling cards that are like, I don't know, four by five and do a painting on and then share it with someone, send it to someone. Doesn't that sound like fun? So I love this heart idea. So let's, let's change gears, Judy, and I'm going to do a big heart and I'm going to fill it with flowers. And I was having fun too with playing around with having something in my subject and then in the background. So I had these polka dot like hearts or hearts circles. So I might do that too. So that, I love that idea. Okay. Do you put the gesso on with a brush or a palette knife? I put it on with a brush. I actually got this one tool and I haven't used it yet. I haven't tried it. Um, it's like a rubber thing. I think that would be a really nice way to put it on. I just, I haven't done it yet. I keep forgetting I have this. So I feel like now I have my acrylic side of my art studio set up and now I can kind of jump back and forth and play with acrylics a little bit more. Um, okay, so I love the heart idea. I love that, Judy. What a great, fun idea. Okay, so I'm gonna do, and we'll just see what happens. That's what I love about doing this, especially now when life's so full of stresses. I love having art something to do and make that there's no pressure it doesn't matter if I make this and it doesn't turn out and I'm just letting things happen so I'm going to do little circles yeah it would be fun to make these I've been walking every day and I think it's saving my spirit for sure so nice getting outside I already went for a four mile walk this morning my neighbor, we walk far apart, of course, but you know, we can still talk, so it still feels good. The silicone brush is fabulous. That's good, I'm excited to try that, Mariana. I have that tool works well, good, I have to try it. I have been, it's funny, I've made this observation that from going through what we're all going through right now, I feel a little confined in my life, <laughs> as we all do, and I feel like I need space, so I bought some bigger canvases. I'm hoping to paint large. I think that might fill my need a little bit for expansion or whatever it is for not feeling confined. Um, so I'm just going to do like some fun shapes in here. Should I have it? Oh, my other one I made like um, leaves of um, eucalyptus or leafy things like that. Let it bleed off the edge a little bit. Do another one of these. Huh, that's already fun, isn't it? Okay, um, silicone brush is fabulous, okay. Good. I'm all caught up in everything. I'm going to have a sip of my water. I should have made myself a coffee treat today. So what I've been doing is I've been mixing up my colors in these little, like, school trays. But I did put a palette. Oh, wait, this is the hard part. This is where I need Isabel to help me. Let me move this over a little bit to mix up colors. Yesterday I didn't do that and I always regret when I don't stop and pre-mix colors because then I end up with too many colors. I need to do that with my oil painting and with my... Um, so I want some grays, some neutrals. Um, sorry. Okay. I'm trying to see what you guys are looking at. Um, so over here, I'm going to mix some in here. I'm going to try this. This is an extender medium that you can put in your colors so that they don't um, dry so quickly. So maybe I'll mix up a few colors in these little bowls and then I'll, you know, do some others on the, on the palette. So put a little bit of extender in there. Um, maybe let me move this out of the way. So I have this, I got a big piece of granite and I wanna play with using this as my painting palette, but I know it's gonna stain and I just haven't had the, the spirit to give it a go and do that. Um, could you see my page? I make flowers. Okay, I'll look at it later. I love flowers. <clears throat> 
Okay, so this is Payne's Gray, and I think I have a neutral gray too over right here. It is. This is neutral gray number four. This is what, you know, I have my palette that I use for my oil painting. Oh, wait, I forgot my paper towels. Let me grab them. Um, that's what I have my underneath of my piece of glass painted. Okay. Oh, the canvas. One more time. What? Oh, what I did this. No, wait. Is that what you want to see? So you can make... No, wait. I can't get far enough away. That's what I made. Okay. Is that good? Okay. Um, all right, so I have a bunch of brushes here. Let me get some of this neutral gray. Oops. Oh, okay. So I'm mixing up kind of a nice neutral gray color. Maybe a little darker than I'd like, but that's that's okay, I can always lighten it. It's, it's got blue in it because that's what the, um, what one color I have is very blue, the Payne's Gray. So there's a dark bluish color. I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm gonna mix up um, a green, Greenish gray, a green. Yeah, it's funny now. Now I changed directions from what I was doing, so I've got to improvise. But that's all right. I love the hard idea. Oops. All right. That's really fluid, but I like that it is. So I'm going to leave that a little runny. I can always change it later. I should just leave the brush with it. Now you need some fun pinks so I love this color this is quinacridone magenta it says that's transparent that's partly why I love it too I'm sure I'm just gonna pour it in oh I have to all right let me whoops there that's better oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing brush all right that's good pink green bluish gray and what else do I need maybe um I'm not feeling yellow right now maybe I'll mix up another what do I have here? Sap green. I'm not feeling that. Maybe this Prussian blue hue. That might be fun as kind of my base things, to, my go-to colors. So what's everybody doing today? Did you guys do anything fun? Go for walks or get outside? <clears throat> what do you like about the Nova colors? Are they more saturated or different colors? Um, price point. I think they do have a good price point. Um, but so do all acrylic paints, really. They really do. Um, I think I like the little jars they're in. <laughs> a lot of times why I like something or don't like something is um, more of a comfort level of the... Um, like, I like I like the little jars. Um I like the color. The colors are really nice choices. The ones that I've gotten, I love. Sometimes when there are so many choices, I'll order things and then I end up only using half of what I order because I don't love the color. Oh, that's a nice kind of peachy pink. So now I can add, mix in different colors to make stuff, but it's kind of like Easter egg bins over here. So here are my little colors started oh my gosh you're not allowed to go for walks that's hard I hope that doesn't happen here oh my gosh because that's like the saving grace is to be able to go outside and get fresh air is it hot there in South Africa do a lot of people have the, the COVID my ours it's still on a rise here in the United States um, but I don't know anyone who's contracted it yet <clears throat> I know it just feels so real unreal especially when it's warm outside to 
Um, there, can you see that okay? Is that good? It's not ideal. That's I have to remember to paint smaller. That's why I do my small ones in the mornings. Um, fabulous weather in North Carolina today. Taking a walk with the dog later. Oh, that's nice. She's, I got my first sunburn today. The sun in Germany was really nice. Oh, that's great. That's what is it? My daughter Isabel wanted to sit out in the sun. All right. So, do I want dark background, a bright heart? Oh, I don't know what I want. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing. So, I'm going to use, I have these fun things, these little, they're called woodies, stabilo things. Oh, Jill, I got the little bowls at, um, I'm just going to color with these a little bit just to kind of get stuff on my canvas so I don't feel, I'm feeling like a little intimidated or something. I need to mark it up. <clears throat> um, I got them at a, a, a like a, a kid's art store <coughs> a long, long time ago. I'm sure you can find them online still. Should I do my flowers bright, a bright color? I don't know what I want to do here. I think I will. I'm just going to start. Well, the fun thing with the acrylic is that if I don't like it, I can paint over it. The only thing you can't get back to is like this bright transparent that I'm doing right now. So I like to let a little bit of that show through like I do with my oil painting. <clears throat> I've been loving doing my um, magnolias. Have you seen them? I did another one this morning. I think I... I might try and do three more, so I have a nice little collection. I have them, they're on my website and available. Well, not all of them, not the one from today. That's what they be, like nice Mother's Day gifts. <clears throat> the last count was 1,585, still waiting to see if it has risen. We still have hot days, but more fall-like days. Yeah, even the light here I feel like looks like fall, like the long shadows we've been having. Oh, I've turned the music down. I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, yeah, so this is going to look messy for a while. <clears throat> Whenever I paint like this, it always goes through a really messy looking stage before it gets tolerable looking. Huh. That's okay. That's part of the fun. Keeping the confidence and knowing that it'll all turn out okay. It's like the biggest lesson. Is anybody else doing the hearts for in your window? I could do that. So my house number, I always paint. Oh, thank you, Karen. Karen said my magnolias are magnificent. I love painting them. Uh, my house number out front is a piece of old slate, and I paint my house number and then I do a little painting on it. And right now it's, I think it's a bluebird. But maybe I should do a new one and make it a heart. I like that idea. I was going to, I was thinking about doing one and having it say hope on it too. That would be neat. You could use an old egg carton. To, oh, that's a great idea, Judy. Thank you. I'll have to do that. I didn't even think of that. I seem to be going through a lot of eggs lately. I think that's because we're home all the time. So this is fun. So it's just like I'm kind of coloring in and playing and not worrying about it. Being a little intuitive, I guess. <clears throat> Oops. <clears throat> I didn't put the trash can near myself. But no well. And rainbows. I love rainbows. Okay. Hmm, you know what else? I want this. I got this fun color <clears throat> the other day. It's called Australian Blue Gum. 
<clears throat> I'm gonna put I'm putting it out over here on my side. I'm gonna mix um, maybe a little of this. I have green here. I'm gonna mix it in. I'm do some in some of my dots. Oh, that's a fun color, isn't it? So you guys, if you're painting these, don't forget to share them um, and use the hashtag Kim Smith Friends um, or tag me in them, like in your stories on Instagram, and I'll share them. Love having a whole collection of things like this to share in my story. It's so fun to see them all. So what's everybody doing today besides this? Did anybody do a painting this morning like I did? I might watch a, maybe a TV show tonight. There's so much free time. <clears throat> oh, you said about being in my video. I, I don't know if I can let, last time I tried that, it crashed and I had to shut down. So I'm afraid to try it now. I'm going to have to do one of these and try it um, when it doesn't matter. So I want to save this one. But I would love to have people pop in and show me what you're working on. Painting a landscape. Oh, that's nice, Deborah. I keep wanting to do that too, paint landscapes. I'm a night painter, so I'm waiting for my husband to come home so I can go to the studio tonight. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Is your husband out working? My husband is a special ed teacher in the city school district where I live, and my office now is in my dining room. I have a design and marketing business that I've had forever. Oh, here I am doing this, and you can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> Online church. Oh, that's good, Judy. That's a good idea. A friend of mine, there. she was telling me that their church, they're doing it like... Um, drive up church like everyone comes in their cars and drives up now I don't know now that we're on a more stringent quarantine if they're still doing that or not but yeah I guess I don't know if we're not supposed to even go out for bike rides I hope that's not the case mm -hmm. oh there's another circle up there that I missed Helping my grandma repair her roof. She isn't home. Oh, that's nice. That's tough. Is it hot there where you are? My mother-in-law is in a retirement community right near us. She's in my last oldster. But she's doing well. Whoops. I got that all messy. The fun thing is you can just go over it and fix it. Michelle said, watching you getting encouraged to begin a, yes, begin a painting because you've got nothing to lose and it's so much fun. I hope I give you the courage to do it. Like I always say, there's, you've got nothing to lose. Dive in, have a ball. If you don't like it, you can throw it away. But the journey is the fun. And you'll see this will look terrible before it starts to look nice. Um, I did a water, were you, did you guys, any of you watch me last week? I did that watercolor and oh my gosh, did I make a mess? I made such a mess with that. I hated it. Um, I don't even know where it went. I think it turned into something completely different after the video. Raining in Ottawa. I can't see my dad either. He's in a home. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard the, having them in the home because yeah, they're quarantined. So we can't, We'll go grocery shopping tomorrow and get her stuff, but we have to drop it off with, like, one of the people at the front gate, and they'll make sure she gets it. But actually, we taught my <clears throat> my mother-in-law how to FaceTime. So she's enjoying that. Um, so at least we get a visual. We can see her, and we know she's okay. And she is. She's happy. I'm lucky. I have a wonderful mother-in-law. She's um, always cup half full. She's always appreciative and... Um, we moved her here to Lancaster after my father-in-law died. 
and um and it was a tough transition for her but she's thriving now she's got some great friends there and she's happy this certainly looks like a mess doesn't it when i make a mess i cut it up for book oh i love that idea that's a great idea this could turn into a bookmark a lovely one <laughs> it would also be neat to share you know when we were talking about doing the little like trading cards I love that idea but doing a big one and cutting it up into pieces and sending the pieces to different friends that'd be fun do you like acrylic or oil painting better I love oil painting I don't dislike acrylic painting I'm just not good at it yet but it's funny, I did, did you see the questionnaire? I did a questionnaire here on Instagram today. And most people, I think, majority of people chose, um, I think, Kim, they chose acrylic over oil. And that surprised me. I am, I love oil paints. Oil paints, I'm just, I, I don't know if it's because I'm, better at oil I mean more comfortable with oil that I like it more or what but it's oil paints are just so buttery um I have trouble with these drying so quickly and I don't know my colors like I do with oil paints either I like that little color that happened there Cheryl thank you Kristen are you painting too I never did tell you what kind of watercolors to buy did I, I forgot about that Kristen is my friend and yoga instructor, and she has been doing the yoga classes online now. I do that on sometimes on Tuesdays and on Thursday evenings. It's fun. So if any of you guys want to take a yoga class with Kristen, her, the, her Instagram is yogoxl, Y-O-G-O-X-L, and you can join in. She teaches from her living room with her daughter and her dogs and her cat. And it's really fun. 7 o'clock on Thursday is my favorite. We do that every week and then we usually go out and have a bite to eat and a drink at the local pub. Can't do that right now, but we'll get back to that. <laughs> You'll go XO. There, she wrote it right there. You see that? And anyone's welcome to join. <clears throat> It's fun. Nice, peaceful, healthy thing. Whoops, there. I just got paint on there. You know what else is fun, too, I was playing with when I did my other one is taking water and spraying it. This looks psychedelic. It looks like the 60s, doesn't it? And I wanted it to be kind of quiet, and now I'm going to spray on here. Let me pull this back just for fun. Binder is white but dries clear. Oh, is that why they darken Judy? And you know what I did get? I have um I want to play with it. I'm gonna let a little bit of this run. I'm gonna end up like I did with my watercolor where it's all gonna be too wet to work on. I don't want to do that. It is fun to do something and just let things happen like this. See how that's running? I love that. Should have brought my hair dryer down here. And I love how transparent that's getting up there. Um, oh, I had this too I wanted to play with. This is an iridescent base. I have some of that on here. And, and so spots of this, I don't know if you can see it. Where is the iridescence? Like if I move it like it's in here, you can see it's little, see the little... Um, like it looks like little sparkles in there. Love that. Love that little bit of magic. <clears throat> so I'm going to do a little bit of this because I feel like it. Let me get a bigger, bigger brush for this. A little iridescence. Now, wait, I got to move this down. Whoop, helping me film, don't I? my brush who doesn't love a little bit of iridescence oops 
I can't see what I'm doing. All right, I'm learning lessons about this teaching. I think I need to work on something smaller, even though I feel like doing the complete opposite. And I need to get Isabel to skip the bike ride and help me do this, right? <laughs> Complete and total mess. It's so fun, isn't it? <clears throat> okay. Now what? Now I need a hair dryer. Hi. Yikes. Well, I could paper towel it off a little bit. So anyone who just joined in, what we're doing, this happened kind of spur of the moment. My friend Judy suggested it, that we're doing, I wanted to do a floral acrylic painting. Um... But she said people are making hearts and hanging them in their windows um, to be a happy spot for people who are out walking um, during this being quarantined. And I love that idea. So I'm doing my floral in a heart shape. All right, remind me not to do the spray water right now. Like you're lost and found. Oh, I know I love Lost and Found Edges, Judy. They are the best. I love when things come and go out of the edges. When something bleeds into the background and gets completely lost. I love the loose edges. We all need some loose edges in our life, don't we? Oops. <clears throat> Is that better? I apologize. I gotta figure out how to film this better. Oh, like that. Let me get a skinny brush. And this is so different too, because when I do my um, oil painting, I paint with the same brush for the entire painting. And with this, I'm always getting out a new brush. So how many people are actually painting along with me? I'm just curious. Hola. Oops. Ah, I just kicked my trash can. All right, I'm going to go over here to this side a little bit. I like those circles. I'm going to do some more of those. Elizabeth, good. Patty, Patty's painting, good. Elizabeth is. Artie, oh, how fun, yay. Yeah, I said to my husband, I was thinking about going on the bike ride, which they just went like, I just went, good, good, Cheryl. I hope it inspires you to want to do it. Um, I said, well, if no one shows up, I'll do the bike ride. I thought maybe nobody will even want to come watch me paint because it's such a beautiful day outside, but always later. Hmm. It's pretty psychedelic. Watching you and making masks. Carol, I need to make some too. My sister needs, I have three here from a friend, but I need to make some too. That was on my list for today, but that might have to wait. I don't have elastic, though. I ordered some, but I didn't get that yet. Elastic's really hard to find right now. Be fun to make cute ones. You wouldn't miss this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to have to do it at uh, earlier, I guess, next week if I do this again. So that if 
fun things are happening. I don't miss it. Oh, I like that. That's fun, isn't it? <clears throat> this is crazy bright <clears throat> for me anyway. What do I want to do? Um, no. Let me go down in this corner and play a little bit. <clears throat> I think I need to do... Well, I'll paint there and then I'll go in and um, do some pencil work or something else. Let's see. Uh, oh, that's where my iridescence happening in there, too. Trying not to be controlled. It seems to be working. <laughs> Patty says, uh, you can use the loops that we use to make potholders. They're easy on your... Oh, Patty, that is a great idea. I'm using material strips that I zigzag the edge. No elastic here either. And then do you tie them in the back? Who thought that we would be discussing this? Oh, my gosh. Um, do you tie them in the back if you use the material strips? That's a good idea. I actually have some old um, shabby chic fabric from years ago that I got out that's really cute. I mean, why not make them fun if you have to wear them, right? All right, I'm sorry, I can't get back for you to see more. Isn't this crazy looking? All right, oh, wait, my light's falling off. <clears throat> okay, and I do like this. So I'm looking at, I love how like textured and funky this is. Like I wanna get, I wanna get he from here to here. I don't know if I'll do it in the hour, but um, that's okay, no pressure, right? <clears throat> so I have these fun things. I'm going to use some of these Karan dot, dot dash. Karan dash, I guess they're called. I'm going to get these out and play with these a little bit. And that'll add some, some texture maybe. This is all still a little wet. Oh, that's kind of pretty how that mixes in there. I like that. I like that look of that. Let me do that over here on the other edge. <clears throat> what type of paper? Um, Jill, I'm just using a piece of Bristol board. I only have a couple pieces left. I actually, I thought I would just use up all my old art supplies, but I actually just put in an order for more because I thought, what's if we're doing this for a really long time? I need more art supplies. You can't get through, you could get through this with no toilet paper, but you can't get through this with no art supplies. You know what I'm saying? Does anybody agree? <laughs> I think this is my sanity doing this fun stuff. I love all the circles. Let me do a few up here. Yeah, the colors are fun, aren't they? That's a lot of circles oh, over here in the corner. All right, I think that's fun. Oh, you're welcome for the demo. Do you usually complete an acrylic? <laughs> Michelle, I don't do very many acrylic paintings. Um, so I would say no. I think more because it's not, it's not something I'm... Um, practice that. Mm -hmm. Oil paintings I usually do because I kind of know what I can get in an hour, what, how much I can accomplish. So I really haven't done very many acrylic paintings. But I would like to do more. 
They are fun. Oh, Nancy, that's fine. Yes, I am having fun as usual. Um, you know what I need? I need some color down here. Better late than never. Well, it looks like a total mess, but I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna use um, one of these crazy little fat things and play around. Love the flowers yesterday in the vase. Thanks, Nancy. Yes, me too. Oh, I don't know if I like the look of that. What do you think? Too wonky. Oh, I'm off the page again. <clears throat> All right. Um, should I go dark or light? Maybe I need a little bit of, whoops, getting my, over here, I'm getting, I have a pile of paint over here and I'm getting everything in it. I'm always making a mess. I think, so I got these new fun pens that I love. Hi, Anita. I stopped painting just to watch you. What are you painting, Anita? I got these Pasha, Pasha pens. Have you tried these? Oh my gosh, they're amazing. They're like, you know, a regular paint pen, but they're better. Looks like a lot of fun. Maybe try to turn your phone horizontal next time. Yeah, I think my problem is that I can't, is that better? Maybe that is better. I might have more trouble reading what you're saying to me, but I'll look every now and then. So. They just make a really nice um, line. They don't um, skip. You ever get these pens and like they skip and then I get frustrated? Oh, you can see pretty well now. That's a great idea. And it's, it's yeah, it doesn't matter which way for you trying to do a heart. How cool are those? I know. I love these pens. I ordered more of these too when I got my, my next supply of art stuff. Sorry, my furnace is making all that noise. I'm going to do a little bit up here and some of these. So it's like a floral abstract, right? This one that I did yesterday is a little more, a little more um, literal, but only a little. And I have a white one of these too. We'll play with that then also. <clears throat> All right, so I need more of this dark. You know what I need? I need black. Do I have black? I don't think I do. I must have something black here. Another Payne's gray. I don't see any black. Oh well, I can live without it, right? No need for black. Does anybody have any questions? How much time do I have? It's 1.14, so I have... 16 minutes to finish, but I don't think I will. But if you guys do these, don't forget to post them and tag me. And if you put them in your story, I'll share them in mine. I'm trying to work on paying attention to doing my stories on Instagram more. That's tricky too. It's hard to uh, do all of the things. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like I thought I'd have all this free time now and I'm really not any less busy. It's okay. 
not complaining. Oh, are you using reference photo or setup for yesterday and today's paintings? Nope, uh, no reference. That I'm trying to um, take the pressure off and not uh, worry about anything like that. So I am just playing, I'm just having fun, just winging it completely. When I do my oil paintings, I always use a reference photo, but um, not for this. I don't like this dark color. I like those lines of the paint, the um, whatever that thing was, the crayon d'arche, crayon d'arche. I have to listen to how that's um, pronounced. But I think I'm going to use that a little more. With this, you're supposed to not worry about, you know, being precious. And if you cover something up you love, you can always create it again. I do like that vibrant green back there. Um, she said, it's so sunny out here. I have to be outside. Wisconsin weather changes quickly, but I'll give it a try. Yes, go ahead, Nancy, and try it. See if you like doing it. Um, but definitely go outside and get fresh air if that's your opportunity right now. That's what I would be doing. It's what I will be doing. So I'm gonna go outside. Maybe I need light pink. What do you think of that idea? Um, well, that made, oh, you can't see that. It went off the edge. That made a really pretty color up in that. Oh, you can't see it too well. It's like a purplish. I'm gonna do that here. So look how much of a mess this is. You just can't get intimidated by it and you have to keep playing until it turns a corner and you start to love it again. It's hard to imagine, right? Right now. That is something I've learned with art. I don't I don't get easily discouraged. I always know that it'll turn out in the end. Almost almost always if you stick with it and if it's not that means you got to work on it some more because um now wait now I think I'm gonna add some white do some light pink but I have to get my gesso out <clears throat> so maybe I'll just keep on working on this after um the video is over and then I'll share it of course I don't know how long it's going to take till it turns out. <laughs> All right, I'm adding some white gesso into my pink paint because I want a light, bright pink. Quinacridone, magenta, and white is just so much fun. Like, I want this to be um, kind of dark, dramatic, but somehow it, my paintings don't ever turn out that way. They always turn out bright. And that's okay, right? I guess they're meant to. I do like when that colors mix a little bit. Maybe I'll put a little, a little orange in here might be fun. I got this one. When I first read it, I thought the color was poison. That's a little scary. That's the only tube of acrylic paint I ever bought that actually has poison in, as on the label. Ooh, that's pretty pink. I know I love the pink. And let's. I'm now mixing it with some of the orange. So I'll get a whole different kind of, that's pretty too. Kind of 
see that can always do that. So is this giving you confidence to go try your own? Seeing what a mess I'm making here. Can you see it? I'll show you right up here with it. Kind of losing the heart. I gotta pull pull out some detail. I need to find a way to put my phone up high like this, but I wouldn't see what you're writing. I guess I could if I put up my It looks like happiness springing from the darkness. Well, I love that. What brand of brush are you painting the petal? What brand of brush? That one I just used. I have no idea. It's, oh, yes, it's a Princeton Art and Brush Company round. It's a nice brush. It made a nice mark, didn't it? I like that, too. So what was I just going to do? What was it? I forget. Mm -hmm. I want to use this white. Um... I think I need to... Uh... I like, I like the look of the pencil mark on there. But now I think I need, um, it's crazy, isn't it? What do I need? I need, I do gold. No, I'm not feeling like gold. Maybe I'll do the more bright green. Maybe instead of trying to make it not be a bright painting, I need to just let it be. Because I think that's what it wants to be. So I'm mixing some white into this green that I had. Oops, that's a little, little much there. Now I'm just defining a little bit of edge so that um, you can tell it's, do you see what I'm doing? Is that better? A little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys were writing. No, wait, let me look here. Cancel. Um, it's beautiful details of the heart. You said, oh, thank you. Yes, that's what I said. I'm not crazy. I forget what I'm talking about. All right, that helped it a little bit. I'm gonna play with this posh pen a little bit. Now that's gonna be a mess. See, that's so wet right there. Maybe it can run a little. Should I let that green run? Do you see it? This big spot, let me run that. Oops, can you see? Just let a little bit of that happen and not care. <laughs> going a little crazy what do you think it looks it doesn't look great but I don't know oops Oh, I like it, though. It kind of turned out fun. Judy says, sorry, I was thinking of sending a photocopy to friends and neighbors to post in the windows, sharing the joy and love of free print for them. That's a great idea, Judy. I love it. Love it, love it. And your neighbors will love it. To have Judy art. That's fun. All right, now I'm going to have to wait too long till it dries. So I'm going to dab it a little bit. Ooh, that's fun. You see that, um, the cool colors that happened where I dabbed. <clears throat> I 
think I need gold in there. No, maybe I need some white, some black. I don't know what I need. Let me get another one of these crayons out. I only have five more minutes. So guys, when this cuts us out, um, just show me what you're working on. How was your ride? Hello. Hey, honey. I film Yeah, you could film a little bit, but it's going to end in a minute or two. You're going to ask why I came down. Thank you. It is hard for them to see what I'm doing, and I'm making a big mess. Look at this. When are you going to teach me? I'll teach you. When? Uh, Did you answer these questions or no? I don't. Tell me what they are. Does salt react on acrylic like it does on watercolor? I don't know. If I had salt nearby, I'd try it. You and try it, let me know. how do they know. show you? Oh, um, take a picture of what you paint and then post it either um, in your story on Instagram. And, like, you put an at sign in my name, Kim Meyer Smith, after it. Or you can um, uh, put the hash or hashtag Kim Smith Friends, and I'll get to see it. Looks great. You are not afraid of anything, LOL. <laughs> not art-wise, I'm not. Maybe other things, but not with art. I am pretty fearless. So I'll finish this, and then I'll share what it turns out like. You guys do the same. Someone said, just looks outstanding. Mm, thank you. Can they watch replay they just joined? Yep, I'm going to post it in my story. And I usually try to put these on my YouTube channel, too. I don't know if I'll do that with this. Maybe. But I still have a little ways to go. Um, what are those pens that you're using? Oh, these. I love these. They're called Tosca pens. You can get them, like, from Jerry's or, or Dick Blick. They're great. They have a really nice, they make a nice mark. Thanks, Izzy. Would you... Show the crayon and pen brands again. Yeah, that I love. And don't say it looks like the 1960s. It does, I agree. I totally agree. It looks like the 60s. These. What are those? The crayon dash. And then I love these little Woody Stabilos, too. Oops. Woody's, they're called. Um, yeah, it does look like it. Flower power is at Emerson. They came to get chocolate milk. Oh, okay. They went all around East Pete. Oh, is that what you did? Yeah. You have a minute 56 remaining. All right. I'll say goodbye. So, goodbye. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. There's Izzy. Oh, yeah, it's like a and um, I'll be painting on Wednesday morning. So, see you then, guys. Don't forget to share what you're painting. Have a great day. Bye.